Somebody's ignoring me. <laughs> I'm eating her. me again welcome back to Exabili Rex it is Monday and I am full of cold oh my goodness I feel so crappy just been sat on the sofa with my cup of tea like oh, I don't want to do any work today um <coughs> so the guy has just come to collect the Vauxhall and I was very sad about that I was just he opened the door and he was like I'm really sorry I'm here to collect the car I was like no <laughs> it's been so lovely driving it around and it has made me realize that my car is a death trap and I probably do need to upgrade it don't necessarily need a brand new Vauxhall Corsa but I definitely need a new car because I just felt so safe driving that and then I realized just how rickety and old mine is so yeah I might have to start saving for that <coughs> So Toby is still with Chris because um, I didn't go collect him last night because we got quite back quite late from Alton Towers. So he's coming around later and we're going to cook tea and he's going to bring the dog. So my house feels really empty without him running around but it's been quite nice because I've been able to sit drinking my cup of tea and not worry that he's going to spill it all over me. <laughs> and I might paint my nails while I've got like on my lunch break maybe. Well I don't have him running around and trying to steal all the bits and bobs this looks disgusting but actually it tastes amazing it's just an omelet with some stuff that i had left in the fridge so i had some beetroot and a little bit of goat's cheese left over from a recipe that me and chris did the other week um and i've just put it together with some eggs and it's actually amazing it tastes so good even though it looks pretty horrendous look who's home it's little toby hi get a nice time <laughs> he probably did. He's come back and he just sits on you. You're not bothered. You're not missed me at all. Hmm. So we went to the pub. <laughs> You've been feeding him beer again. Don't you grass me up now. <laughs> can you um? Can you tell me why you've got a puppy up your jumper? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning boys. How are you climbing up there? Don't jump up there, you'll hurt your joints. That's a very nice chipmunk. You seem incredibly excited to show me this chipmunk. That's very nice. It looks lovely. I've seen it before, but thank you. <laughs> Every morning he grabs a toy and brings it straight to you. And he's like so excited, he looks so excited to show you. Dobby. Dobby. <laughs> You're funny. I missed you too. It's a long, a long seven hours. Oh my goodness, look how rough I look today. Ow, don't scratch me. Ow. Oh my god, I look so rough. I've had a giant spot on my nose, which have just popped. Oh, that was a nice big yawn. And my hair is about five days over washing. I need to wash it. Stat. Uh, but first, a cup of tea and some puppy cuddles. <laughs> Answer some emails and then we'll get cracking on this. I'm halfway through getting ready, um, but I've actually got a very important, very exciting phone call in three minutes time. I don't want to say anything about it yet because I don't want to jinx it, but um, yeah, it's exciting. So watch this space and hopefully I'll be able to tell you a little bit about it um, later, if not today, later on this week. But yeah, it's a, it's a really awesome opportunity that's sort of come my way and uh, just discussing things at the moment. It's in the discussion stages. So yes, wish me luck for this phone call and wish me luck for covering up this giant spot in a bit. My God, it's nearly as big as my face. In other news, my tattoo is healing very, very nicely. And I think I might put a picture on Instagram and maybe show you a little bit later on in the week because I just love it. Well, I'll see if anybody's nasty on the comment section when the vlog goes live tonight. Um, if not, then I might show you guys later on this week. I just, I love it. I'm so in love with it. Every time I look at it, I'm like, oh. Somebody's ignoring me. For some reason, he's gone to sleep on that sofa, but um, that doesn't look overly comfortable. <laughs> Toby! What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you ignoring me? Oh my goodness, look at all that fur under there from Archie. <gasps> Somebody needs to hoover. Toby, get the hoover out. It's currently half past two and I just don't seem to be getting anywhere. I also have a dog as a cushion 
because he decided to um, park himself right behind me. What are you grumbling for? What? What are you grumbling at? What are you, what can you see? <laughs> what are you growling at? He did this the other day when I paused the X Factor on TV. One of the contestants was on the TV and he just jumped off my, uh, jumped off my lap and was just like, at the TV. He really didn't like him. I think he's grumbling at the candles. That's so funny, what a little weirdo. Anyway, um, yeah, it's currently half past two and I feel like I haven't got anywhere. I have got somewhere. I've done some amazing stuff today, but it's kind of just been all little bits instead of one big chunk. Does that make sense? <sighs> it's just working through content. I'm so busy this week, so I'm sorry if this vlog's going to be a bit boring, but it is pretty much me just working flat out. Um, I've got so many different jobs on, which are all great and it's nice to be busy, but yeah, it's going to make for a boring vlog, I'm afraid. Come here. Toby got one. Toby, what's it? Trying to stop you from going in the puddle. Beat you in there, haven't they? <laughs> Archie, good boy. Good boy. Toby, good boy. Toby, good boy. Good Archie, boys. Come on. Go disco, go disco, go disco, disco, disco. Mm. <laughs> Somebody's cooking fajitas. It's Toby. <laughs> Just kidding, it's Chris. Lol. I'm funny. <laughs> everybody happy Wednesday I'm dressed as a bear again for those asking it's uh, from Tesco if you, if you didn't watch last week's vlog um I have just woken up to the most amazing delivery this is from one of my followers who messaged me quite a while ago actually um and when I was feeling really really down and I was chatting, remember I was talking about the spaniel dog bowls where they're really deep so their ears don't go in the water because Toby's ears are so long that he ends up like covered in water whenever he has a drink. Anyway, um, one of my followers, Kat, sent me an email and wouldn't take no for an answer. She bought me a gift voucher for a handmade dog bowl from a company called Chow Bella and it's just arrived oh my goodness it's so cute now this has taken so long to arrive because they're completely handmade and they have to be like fired in the kiln and everything but it's got a little paw print on and it's got toby's name on it and it's specially like um done so his ears basically go down the outside of the bowl so he doesn't get wet so i just wanted to say thank you so much to cat we've never met and you're just you're just an incredible person and when you sent me that email it really cheered me up and thank you so much to like Jennifer and Becky and everybody who's sent me presents and gifts before I still haven't used my uh champagne afternoon tea I'm gonna be using that one very very soon um but yeah I just it's it's incredible to me that you guys do this and I just wanted to say thank you so much and now we're gonna put some water in and you're gonna drink from it are you excited he doesn't care, to be honest. He just wants his breakfast. <laughs> this is very special. It's just for you. It's just for you. It's got your name on it, too. <laughs> and now your ears can't get wet. He's like, but mum, why is there not food in my food bowl? <laughs> it looks like a bloody bomb's gone off in here. That's my fault, because I didn't wash it yesterday. But when Chris cooks, he doesn't have to make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> you like belly rubs? Where have your ears gone? Hey, where have your ears gone? <laughs> Look at that dirty belly. Didn't wash you properly after your walk yesterday, did we? You got away with that. I thought it was just your feet. Hmm. Somebody's going in the bath later, aren't they? Hey. 
<laughs> Toby's lost all of his little teeth as well, which is amazing. I found like three little um little puppy teeth on the floor, but he's lost all of them now and he's got his big boy teeth. So it doesn't hurt anywhere near as much. Look at those. Big boy teeth. <laughs> so it doesn't hurt now when he bites. <laughs> Not that he bites, but you know, when he like when he play nibbles doesn't hurt at all which is a, a godsend because those puppy teeth were like needles no biting no look how big you are you're not a puppy anymore you're a big fat doggy big fat doggy <laughs> you're soft as anything you are i love you just had a call from Josephine to see if I wanted to go for a little walk and get out the house because she felt she needed to get some fresh air and I felt I felt that I needed to get some fresh air too. So um, why does he always pick that up as soon as I start filming? Um, so we took the doggos out on a nice big walk um, and it was lovely. We were out for about an hour just sort of walking around. It wasn't actually as cold as I thought it was going to be. And it was just good to get the heart rate up a little bit, get outside and just have a bit of human interaction. So yeah, I feel refreshed and ready for the rest of the afternoon. So I'm gonna crack on with the gigantic pile of work that I need to do. So um, yeah, catch up with you in a bit. <laughs> I'm eating her. Here we see a dog who is using all of his will not to eat those party rings on mummy's table. Toby, Toby. You can't have the party rings. Puppies can't eat party rings. Vegans can, but puppies can't. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're getting so good around food, matey. He's really great now. He'll literally just lie at my feet. Uh, I trained him to lie down whenever humans are eating so he doesn't jump up and try and snatch food anymore and he knows that if he sits down and lies down he will get a treat and he just it only took one training session and he's already picked it up so yeah although it doesn't stop him trying to eat clip -its and sip from my tea <laughs> when he thinks I'm not looking he's given up on his party ring plight <laughs> oh dear he absolutely loves lying on this rug though. I'm so glad I brought it back up. It's from the rugseller.co.uk. I know I've mentioned it so many times, but I just love it. Like the pile is so deep. It's amazing. And fingers crossed, currently we've had no accidents on it, which is great. And he's like a little hoover because if you drop any crumbs in there, it is essentially gone forever. So um, there's no crumbs. <laughs> so the, he, Toby finds all the food that's in there because you can't hoover it. So uh, brilliant. <laughs> Even though it is pretty disgusting thinking about what is possibly lurking in that rug. Although it looks pretty and it feels nice under my feet, so I don't care. Um, I'm still working away on blog posts. Uh, it's chucking it down with rain, so I'm glad that we went out for a walk earlier when we did. Currently sat here in Chris's t-shirt and some like baggy jogging bottoms. I think I might go for a shower in a bit just to like refresh my brain. You know, like when you just like sat there constantly doing something for so long and you get into a bit like of a trance. <laughs> so I think I might go for a shower in a bit and um, maybe put a little bit of makeup on. Although I don't really feel like I want to, so I might not. I really need my eyebrows doing. Oh my goodness. I've got some John Lewis vouchers. Um, that I can use at the benefit counter so I can get them done for free. It's just I haven't had a chance to go into Birmingham and get them done yet, so I need to get on that. So, um, Chris needed some new tyres on his car, so I went to go and drop him off there after work to go and collect the car when it had been fixed, pulled into the place and noticed that I myself had a flat tyre. In fact, I had two flat tyres, so they've got two for the price of one. Basically, I've gone in to help him out and ended up having to get two new tyres for me, so yes, brilliant. That's a lovely £100 that I uh, didn't need to spend. Looks like it's beans on toast for the rest of the month. <laughs> So, I know you're hiding. <laughs> Where are you hiding. I thought you were gonna hide and scare me. Leftover sweeties from Alton Towers and The Apprentice. So you, bring me in. Bring me in. So you really being that lazy Gentlemen, that you won't get up and get your bone because it's right there. For the first two weeks, okay? But if I stare at it, it might actually come to me. 
I'm using my puppy powers. <laughs> my dust. You know how I was saying yesterday how my dog is actually really good with food? Well, this little man isn't very well this morning, so I just had to put him in the bath to wash his bottom after <laughs> he'd had a little episode outside. Left these on the side. Somebody's eaten my entire yogurt and started to take a sip out of my tea. Now, I have a feeling it might be this little dog that's been shut outside. I don't know what's given it away. I think it might be the little bit of yogurt that's on his nose. I was literally just saying yesterday how good you are around food these days. <sighs> and you've been caught red-handed or white-nosed. What is this? Well, I suppose it was my own fault for leaving it on the side while I was attending to the other dog. But, uh, yes, needless to say, I won't be making that mistake again. Little shit. I'm gonna make myself some toast. I'm not even just saying it for effect. I genuinely was really enjoying that yoghurt. I've been saving it all week until I fancy some sweet for breakfast. Put some manuka honey in it. Quite expensive manuka honey, I might add, that I got sent from Kiehl's, I think. Uh, sat down, had about half of it, and I was like, mm, I'm really enjoying this. And then Archie needed to go outside. Gone. Right, I'm off to go and collect my car. They've just phoned me to say that it's ready um, and it's only 70 pounds for two new tires, which is not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Still 70 pounds don't really have to spend on tires, but there we go, that's just what it is. I've got a feeling that, because it's happened to me like twice now, I think, hasn't it, since I've been living here? I have a feeling that somebody's putting something under my tires, um, like in the gravel and so when I reverse it just like pops them instantly so I'm gonna have to start checking my car every time I leave which is really annoying um, especially because I don't exactly live in the ghetto but there's got to be a reason for it because it always seems to happen or I notice it when I come off my drive or at the same kind of point so yeah not the best but hey what are you gonna do it needs to be fixed because I need a car if only Vauxhall would have given me the Corsa for free <laughs> So many smells in the pet shop. <laughs> don't, don't lick them. I am so excited for lunch today. Cheese and onion sandwich with broccoli and Stilton soup. Health food. Disco dog number two in his very fancy yellow collar. I swear I'm not on commission for these collars guys, but they really are amazing for three quid. <laughs> I'm just on my way to see Lucy. I'm having dinner at her house tonight. Um, I've not brought Toby because he needs to spend a bit more time on his own because uh, he sometimes gets quite stressed when we take him to the pub and I leave or go to the bar or something. So I just, I spend all my time with him. So he just needs a bit more time on his own. And Lucy's dog Otto isn't 100% comfortable with him in close spaces just yet because he's blind. He's only got one eye. So um, I think he gets a bit stressed out with Toby's quick and sudden movement. So I've taken Archie with me um, tonight and I think she's cooking chicken and butternut squash stew, which sounds amazing. Just caught, just got caught vlogging by two guys outside of pods. That was nice and embarrassing. Um, yeah, so that phone call I had the other day um, actually went very, very well. And I had another phone call yesterday to say that I'd done well but I can't I don't want to say anything yet because I don't want to jinx it because I still have paperwork to sign but there's a very exciting opportunity coming my way and it's something that you guys will be able to get involved in as well um, I can't wait until I can tell you but anyway um, I've got a nice bottle of fizz and we're gonna crack that open and celebrate tonight because it bloody deserves celebrating disco dog disco dog disco 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 dog <laughs> there's a guinea pig in there Archie <laughs> you don't quite know what that is, do you? <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Sorry I didn't film with Lucy yesterday. We just had a lovely time um, as she made a delicious stew, which was so nice. Oh. Oh. Excuse me. And then we ate some celebrations, which was very naughty. Um, and she bought me this little gift, which is so cute. It's a little honey gift set and a little congratulations card. It will all make sense when I can tell you um, what exactly it is, but yeah, it's really lovely of her, bless her. Um, so, uh, today I we've got a big group walk this morning with Luce, so I'm taking 
both Archie and Toby off on a big group walk at about half past 11. And we go out for an hour with loads of other doggies that Lucy walks and it's really good for their socialization and they get to pelt round for a little bit. They're probably gonna get very, very muddy. So then it'll be a dog bath after that. And then um, I'm heading over to Chris's house. Oh. So tired this morning, sorry. Um, yeah, I'm heading over to Chris's house because he's going away for the weekend for a friend's birthday down south. So I'm gonna head over there for tonight and I'm gonna see him before he goes away for the weekend tomorrow morning. So yeah, and around this, I've got to like do a poo load of work. So <laughs> yeah, I'm just so busy this week. So sorry if the vlog's been a bit boring, but I've just been tip tapping away on my laptop. I bought this in Primark yesterday because it was only six pounds or seven pounds. Um, this shirt, it's really nice. I like it, I might wear it tomorrow. Um, and I treated Chris to a little jumper because he was feeling a bit sad. <laughs> so I treated him to a jumper. Um, yeah, that's it. Nothing else to report really, I'm afraid today. I think Toby's food's coming. Toby's special food is arriving today. I've just had a text to say it's been delivered. And that's about it. But he's whining because he wants his breakfast. So first of all, we're going to fill up his water in his brand new water bowl. I love it. I just really love it. Uh, and then breakfast time for everybody. Look, there's two deer. Don't pull me, guys. Why are they gone? They're in there. Oh my god. Look, there's loads of deer. That's so cute. <laughs> He's swimming. Are you going in, little man? He's like, no, too scared. <laughs> You swimming, aren't you? <laughs> proper little water baby. <laughs> Crazy puppy. <laughs> Toby. Wee rocket dog. <laughs> happy with me because I've had to go in the bath. Well, to be fair, Toby loves having a bath and he really likes being brushed and he's really great and he's getting used to the hairdryer as well. Archie does not like it at all. <laughs> so that's always a bit of a struggle, isn't it, mate? So here we go. Here is his bag of food and then he's got a little scoop which we need to put together and they tell you which setting to put it on and then how many scoops a day that he has. So yeah, if anybody wants to try it, I've got some vouchers here. So you get one month free trial, so you get this big bag of food for a month um, and you only have to pay a pound delivery. So if you use my code TOBD9UXEJ or any of these, I'll put them down below and um, you can try them, see if you can use them. And yeah, you can get some free dog food. I'm sure he's gonna wolf this down. <laughs> Right, got my favourite jumper on again from Primark. Sorry, not sorry. I'm going to end up wearing this to death. I really feel like I need to go in and get another one just so that when this one goes bobbly, I have one spare because I just absolutely love it. Couldn't find the grey one yesterday. Did I tell you that? I can't remember. Um, yeah, so I'm going to head over to Chris's now. I'm going over there for the evening with the doggos. Going to take those in the car. Yes. You're all very fluffy and clean. <laughs> um, and I think we're just gonna stay in and maybe, I think he's cooking lasagna, which is really good because his lasagna is amazing. Oh, kind of a bit wonky there. And uh, maybe have a glass of wine and just sort of snuggle up and chill on the sofa in PJs. So uh, yeah, I couldn't think of a better way to spend a Friday if I'm honest. Oh my goodness, get in my belly. <sighs> Good morning everybody, happy Saturday. I look a bit gothic today. I kind of, I wanted to put this lovely rose gold eyeshadow on that I've got from um, MAC. It's called Antique Pink. 
<laughs> it's called antique pink our antique rose and i really like it and i put it on and i thought oh this is like a full-on makeup look now when i'm actually only going for like a couple of beers with um my friend lizzie so yeah i'm kind of like all dolled up and i feel a bit weird <laughs> So Lizzie, if you remember ages ago, I went to that uh, house party with Chris and I met uh, two girls there, Louise and also Lizzie. And uh, I've been for a glass of wine with Lizzie about probably about a month ago and we hit it off so we've decided to meet up again. The only thing is there was a hot tub at this party <laughs> and me and Lizzie kind of bonded in the hot tub um, after a few glasses of Prosecco and um, she's now saved in my phone as Hot Tub Lizzie. <laughs> so she's now forever gonna be known as Hot Tub Lizzie. Um, Anyway, yeah, so we're gonna go for uh, a couple of drinks. I'm gonna take the little man, hopefully he's gonna behave. Um, and we're gonna, he's found Neil the sloth that I got through with my sofa that's been like just lurking in my bedroom. He found that, so he can have that. Um, <laughs> it's the creepiest toy and it's nearly as big as him, but he seems to like it. Uh, yeah, so we're just gonna go for a few drinks really. And then I have an evening in with myself. It would be quite nice. Chris has gone for a, um, a birthday party down in Devon that was kind of all booked and organized last year before we knew each other existed in the world. So unfortunately there's no place for me. So that means that I'm here and he's down there, but I'm actually quite looking forward to it. To just sit in, snuggle in with my PJs, with this little man, and just watch The X Factor or catch up on the Kardashians or all the other crap that I watch that Chris doesn't necessarily like watching. So, quite looking forward to the day. <laughs> That was lovely, but absolutely exhausting. I just feel like we've been out for hours, or we have been out for hours, but it was awesome. We went to Pizza Express, had um, a beer and a pizza sat outside, and Toby was so, so good. He was literally sat there the whole time while we were eating, and he was sitting there quietly eating his chew toy. He was perfect. Uh, and then we took a little walk around the park with a coffee, and sat on a bench, and watched the world go by, and just chatted away. And it was just, it was lovely. It was really nice. I love her, she's so cute. Um, and she's getting married next week, which is very exciting. Um, so now I'm just back in my very dark house. I don't know how it's got so dark so quickly. Um, whoa, blinded by the light. And I also managed to pick up my little um, owl bin. Did I tell you about this? I basically, it's, I got sent some aromatherapy oils from iMantra, and I realized that even though I'm a candle and diffuser a holic i don't actually own an oil burner so i looked for a really really cheap one um and i found this in wilco's and it was three pounds and they didn't have any in stock so i ordered it online and click and collected it three pounds you put a little tea light in there and then the oil in the top so i'm going to light that now put my pjs on me and you are gonna snuggle up you can't eat this owl it's not a toy <laughs> you can't no, he wants it now. Uh, we're gonna snuggle up, I'm gonna put all my fairy lights on, make a cup of chamomile tea, <laughs> yes, and we're gonna have a nice relaxed Saturday evening in. If this isn't cozy, I don't know what is. Very, very relaxed. How you doing? <laughs> I don't think any dog has ever been this comfortable in the history of the world. Thoroughly loving my new dressing gown. Good morning everybody, happy Sunday. So last night I was a bit naughty. Um, I was so tired when I went to bed and for some reason Toby was whining when I put him in the kitchen and he hasn't done that for months, like literally months. But he just would not stop and I was like, oh, I'm so tired. He hasn't had an accident overnight for ages. I'm gonna let him sleep in my bed and it was the best night ever. <laughs> I am officially that dog person that lets their dog sleep in bed with them. But yeah, he just literally jumped in and he went under the covers and like snuggled up. And then I was like, this feels a bit weird. He's gonna get really hot under there. And then he just like dug himself out. Yes, that's a very nice squirrel. Thank you. Thank you. Let me have a look at it. Lovely. Thanks. Um, yeah, he like he screwed himself out of the covers and then went upstairs. I was like, oh, okay, maybe he's just gonna take himself to bed. And then I heard him like scrambling around and then he came back down the stairs. He'd gone to get his teddy. <laughs> He'd gone to get his teddy bear. He just jumped onto the, uh... <laughs> luckily it wasn't the squeaky one. It's the one that I always put in his bed. 
and he got, he got his teddy, jumped on the bed, and then like curled up at my feet over the top of the uh, over the top of the covers, and we slept all night, and he didn't move, and it was just amazing. And then my alarm went off, and woke us both um, woke us both up, and then we just had a little like five minute cuddle in the bed. Oh, it was the best thing ever, honestly. Who needs a man when you have a puppy? It's amazing. So uh, yeah, I've just had breakfast, or he's just had his breakfast. I'm gonna make a cup of tea, and then uh, I'm gonna watch a bit of Sunday brunch. Perfect. That was a movie uh, so I'll just try excuse me. Just Don't bite Neil's one. eyes off, yeah, otherwise I'll have to confiscate one. him. So no, nope, there goes his eyeball, brilliant. Confiscated then. No, he bit his eyes off, I'm afraid. It's dangerous now. R.I.P. Neil. Oh what my goodness, I am on a bloody roll today. I have cleaned the entire flat, dusted, cleaned the bathroom, hoovered everywhere. I put all my stuff away from Bangkok, which I've been putting off for a week. Uh, <laughs> I have changed the bed sheets, put my new luxury bed sheets on, which I'm gonna be doing a blog review on. They look incredible and they feel unbelievable and it's just really nice and posh down there. Uh, I've put on a first wash of clothes. I've washed all, all my towels and now I've put on some clothes and then I'm gonna do a second wash after that. Um, I've made myself a bacon and egg sandwich, putting on a clay face mask. I'm just on a roll. I'm having such a productive Sunday. It's bloody brilliant. So um, yeah, might just settle down, let this dry. Then I'm gonna pop an exfoliating peel on. Might even do some gel nails. Then I'm gonna hop in the shower. Don't need to wash my hair. Do a body scrub, be all luxurious, use some nice oils, get changed, and then head over to Chris's. Brilliant day. Oh, well that was lovely. I wish I'd taken my camera now because the weather was glorious and the kids were hilarious. Um, but I just went for a walk with Jo and her kitty winkies. Come on you, out of there, don't eat the pegs. And Toby and yeah, it was, it was absolutely lovely. Really nice to just get out of the house and yeah, just amazing. So I'm gonna put my last load of washing on my dryer of dreams and uh, then I'm gonna just quickly hop in the shower and then I'm gonna go over and see Chris. I think takeaway tonight. He didn't spend any money last night, so takeaway I think and maybe a cheeky bottle of wine. Hey team, the M5 is the bane of my life at the moment. It's an absolute bugger. Um, so I think I'm gonna leave the vlog here because uh, I'm just gonna snuggle up with Chris on the sofa and a takeaway. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the vlog this week, I really do. Um, I've had a lovely, happy week and I hope it showed in the video. I'm sorry if it's been a bit boring. I'm literally, I am so full of work right now. I'm flat out pretty much most days um, and next week looks to be pretty much the same which is obviously a good thing because you know bills are getting paid um, but yeah sometimes I just wish in this job things would be spread out a little bit more because obviously we had those few quiet months and then now everything's all bloody come at once so oh well keeps me on my feet keeps me busy so um yeah I shall see you next week I don't think there's anything much going on next week actually much going on next week just a normal week but um the bangkok vlogs uh not vlogs uh the bangkok vlogs will be coming soon so there'll be lots of pictures and lots of stuff to look at there um i've got some interesting reviews coming your way and what else loads of other stuff go and check out the blog there's loads of interesting things on there at the moment uh, and thank you very much for all of your comments as usual you guys are pretty awesome and it's really nice to start feeling like me again and feeling like that these vlogs are getting back to normal so i promise i will show you my tattoo hopefully next week once this heat rush has cleared up and yeah that's about all i've got to say sorry i'm eating a polo at the moment <clears throat> nice and attractive But yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye! <laughs> Go and shake on Auntie Lucy, come on! You want some breakfast? <laughs> You're doing your outfit of the day. A very exciting day tomorrow and I shall explain all in the morning.